Hi, my name is Peter Roberto and I work for Chronix. I would like to show you our new development, GraphMind, uh, which is a free mind which stuff for Drupal. You need uh, the GraphMind module, services, AMF, PHP, and some additional services. And as always with services, you need to set up your permissions to be the services accessible for, for example, anonymous or authenticated users. And the most important is give access rights to the access service permission. Okay, let's see what is it. We have to create a new GraphMind content type. That's single map. Okay, and in this note page, you have this GraphMind editor, which is almost a free mind map editor. Okay, how it works. Let's add some new node. Cat and uh, tag. Okay, if I want, if you want to add attributes to your nodes, you just select your node and give it a name, Buffy. And for the dog, name John. Okay, and if you make some mistake, you can erase your attributes. Okay, you can remove nodes, or if you have more nodes, you can remove branches as well. But let's see some more interesting stuff. Let's load some information from our Drupal site. User one, let's load user one at Drupal item and the base site connection is good for us. Let's load a user and with the ID one. Okay. Uh, I want to load, for example, a node node 146 and let's load this node okay and we get the node from our Drupal site if you want to check it there is a link icon if you click on it you get the nodes page okay and if you select the node which is loaded from our Drupal site you get all the attributes it has for example, the, the bodies uh, of the node or the, all, all the other information. And let's load a news uh, build. So, for example, I want to load a node list. Uh, okay, node list, and I want to load 12 ads. Okay, and I load a views list in our free mind map okay and of course they have all the information but uh, what if we have some important information on some external site that's no problem we have to add that external sites uh, service connection i have that dummy drupal site it's another drupal site and this is its uh, amf php connection url and if i edit my account because I have to log in to this site and I have the connection. So let's load some nodes from this site. External site nodes. Let's collapse it then. And there is our new Drupal connection. And let's load uh, nodes. Yeah, for example, six could be enough. And the uh, I have a comment list on my other Drupal site with an argument which is the nodes ID. So I, if I want to load all the comments to this um, node, I check this views list and I have an argument which is the one. And if you check this node, this is the nodes ID. If I want to load the comments to this node, this is 
the node ID 3 that I want to load for node 1 and comment list and then I get all the comments to this node. Okay, so let's save it because I finished my work. And if I save my work, I get an exportable FreeMind XML format. So let's copy it and save it as a FreeMind map. Demo map.mm. So this is the free mind map. It's it's a bit ugly because it shows all the attributes we have. So you have to hide it, and it's basically the same uh, as you have at your Drupal site. And if you reload the node, you can see the exact same map you saved before. You have a full screen view if you have more space. And yeah, so this is CraftMind. I hope it could be useful. In the future, it will be a lot of development with CraftMind. So we keep in touch. See you. Hi.